Hey guys, this is Magic Corona recording for April 17th. Today's daily is uh, 221 Gold Daily, cast 12 green or blue spells. And our roll is probably not going to get a 300 gold because we've been getting a decent amount of 300 gold in the past two days. Uh, it'll be another 225 gold daily, cast off the red or blue spells. Um, since we won't be finishing or going to, we're not gonna try to finish this daily, we're just gonna play with vampires. I can play with blue black, but I've been having fun with vampires so far, so. So tomorrow will be the 28th day since the patch or oh, I'm gonna keep this head or more specifically the fourth weeks not quite a month but pretty much a month in terms of the reward structure because we get uh, we receive basically four well we receive five uh five times of the weekly reward because on the initial initial two days or three days because we start on Thursday and then resets on Sunday. So it looks like Blue white control from the looks of it, it could be blue white penalized right here. If it's control, then I think I'm I should like this matchup. If it's I'm gonna attack and jam Queen's mission here. We could have Legion Lieutenant there, but this way, if he doesn't have a second white source for the saddle, we can force. Okay, so yes, second white source for the saddle. In that case, we don't have attack like this. Cancel this. I will take it's fine. So we get punished if he has um, slaughtered the strong, but I haven't seen anyone playing slaughtered the strong. I'm gonna make the same attack. If he saddles here, I'm okay. Of course, have a dreams instead. He did not get a I'm gonna bait with Legion Lieutenant, I think.
I'm gonna bait with Legion Lieutenant. And then Raid in Destiny. He does something to the Lieutenant. Yeah, that matchup is not terrible as long as you don't just run into their saddle. Sand is okay, it's not very exciting, but I think I'm gonna keep it. Red. So this sand is bad against red. We just want a bunch of Queen's Commission against red. So if we draw a Queen's Commission, we're fine. Our Aspern is not very good against red because it's a P1, so it dies to everything. Kendra, I take three. Next turn, I drop the second aspirant. Go to 15. And then next turn, pressure, no block plus kill one of the aspirant. Okay, that helps. No attacks. Worst case is Crusher plus spin, no blocks. Take five, go to ten. We play our Legion Lieutenant. And then if we can survive until Call to Peace, but I might be okay. That's an interesting lightning strike. Not have planning start there, but he might have another lightning strike. That would be the only reason he would lightning strike there. Uh, I'm not blocking if he attacks. This thing is too valuable. Spend another line strike, I'm afraid. That's okay. We are just gonna jam this into Vanquish this back. So if we tax, we block it one. Play first strike guy, the raid guy, that guy. 
Get Magnus Cry one fire, token. Okay, we just vanquishing banner here. We could have another upgrade. If it doesn't have another upgrade, I think we could take over the game. This could be Hazaret, but we have the answer to Hazaret. We're gonna double block. Uh, because even if he upgrades the banner, we could still kill the Trailblazer. If he doesn't kill the banner, then we gain a lot of life. If he has a Magma Spray, we still gain life and then we keep the banner. But from the way he's playing, I think he has an upgrade. Lightning Strike. I'm not sure I like that play. Not drawing, uh, drawing a land there kind of suck, but uh, at least we can near the Wicking Runner next turn if we don't have any other action. Uh, we're not gonna block this. Let's play three burn spells. Phoenix, okay. So we might be forced to Phoenix, to finding the Phoenix. Yeah, we're gonna find the Phoenix. Uh, anything with haste other than that guy has. I'm gonna not attack just to make him ex uh, exert Crusher if he draws Crusher. We're getting kind of low on life, we could use more token generation. But at least we get to get near this guy, hopefully next turn. So we are at 2 life essentially, and it's 1 away from... Eternalizing the Kendra. So we draw a land, Eternalize Kendra. So, I think we are on the kill in this game. Okay, if he has the camera eternalized, he'll make me no block anyway, so I'm gonna attack. Hope I don't. I need to draw something soon though, because otherwise I think I just die to the camera. Hopefully I draw another call to the feast, that would be the best, I think. Uh, other good options are Margot Dusk, Legion Lieutenant. That is like... Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna play this and not attack. Because Kendra can only no block one. So. We get to. The raid with the Kendra if he plays a land. Let me spray. Okay, we'll. We'll start with this. We might draw Maverick Pain. These aren't what we wanted. I think we're in the same situation where we don't want to attack.
yeah, we won't attack this turn. If we draw another creature, then we'll attack next turn. He's if he eternalize, I'm okay. If he flings his land, then I'm attacking with the vampire. The lackling vampire. Bellblazer. So if I attack with the Sky Marcher, I need a Radiant Destiny. I think if I draw Radiant Destiny, I'm okay. But I'm drawing like a lot of lands. Okay, so we get Chef of Dunes. We get Chef of Dunes for three life. I think that's what we have to do. We're gonna have to do this what we like. So this way, even if he draws a land and then eternalize, um, not just dead. So actually that kills me because that was exactly Ah wow all these lands It doesn't kill me kill me but I have to throw away a creature to the camera Yeah, let's throw your creature to Kandra and then hope I draw something good. That's pretty good. Okay. Yes. That's not a good card. Okay. Should be more or less stabilized at this point. Unless he does something ridiculous. He can't attack. I mean, he can, but I don't think he'll do them any good. If we draw another Anthem effect, we basically... Okay, that's good enough. This kills him. Assuming... Okay. Oh, that was close. That was close. I think I misplayed it a little bit, maybe, by attacking. I'm not sure if I was supposed to attack there or not. So if I, if I didn't attack, I'll go to 3, and then take 2, I'll go to 1. He would no blocks the lifeline guy, I would double block. So attacking was the correct move, so, uh, surprisingly enough. Because attacking, if I if I didn't attack, I would have lost both creatures that trigger Marvin Bane. And I think if I lost both creatures, I would draw Marvin Bane. And then draw the Radiant Destiny. And then attack for 3, go to 4. But I would only have 2 creatures. 
and then he would have backed with both of his creatures. Or no, I would have killed his camera. So, I don't know. I think it's toss up. <laughs> it's hard to tell if whether that attack was correct or not. Okay, I'll do this. It's not actually the best hand because I need to draw any land. Because otherwise, I can only cast one guy. So if I draw any land, I can cast three cards. If I draw a black sword specifically, I can cast four cards with this coming down the line. Again, smart folk. Again, smart folk. So turn two. I think I'm gonna find dark. The reason I Vanguard is it gets more damage in and he's most likely not gonna block with the Okay, that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna set up Queen's Commission. And then followed up by Legion Lieutenant. If I draw another land, I can Lieutenant Margo Dusk, which is ideal. Okay, that could be bad. Okay, draw land. I think I'm still dropping Legion Lieutenant. Man, a speaker. He'll make a bunch of blockers and trigger this thing called Bunch. But he doesn't have a Lord because. Okay, I mean, he could still have a Lord. I'm gonna Tyrant. So, we need to draw... We need to draw... If a land? Or a Baffling Ant. We need to draw a Baffling Ant. We draw a Baffling Ant. his theme. So as long as, I don't know, I guess he could be drawing like a lot of... Oh man. So, he's actually drawing a lot of... His draws have been pretty good. I need to get like the buff again pass. Or I think I just die. Nah, that's not it. Okay. So him having that like exact curve of the blue waters into Humana is probably worst case. I don't think I could actually beat that hand because This deck's not very interactive, and that matchup is pretty much like a race, 
and I can't raise mana because uh, he is he grows ridiculously fast and it's like almost exponential. This is actually not good, but... Yeah, I got a one again. This one's better. I'm gonna keep it. Uh... I think I want, like, a two drop or a lord. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Of course, if this is red, I would have rather liked that Queen's Commission. But... We already have two three drops in our hand, so we kind of want a two drop instead. Two drop like that guy. So we'll see if this is more folk or blue black. Tanking on his turn two, so don't know what he could have. Okay, it's not Merfolk, because I don't think Merfolk runs really left. So this is blue white control or blue black. So he has an essence scatter up. It could be eternalized. I don't think it's the the cartouche deck because I don't think that deck runs deserts. So it could be eternalized, some kind of control, or blue black. If it's control, it's probably gonna scatter my Mario Dusk. But that's okay. No scatter. So I don't know what he was thinking about. He could have a consign, but. Okay. His mana base is pretty bad. So I think next turn I'm just gonna Queen's Commission because I kinda like protecting my Melbourne Pain unless he does something here like play search for Ascanta, in which case I'm playing my Melbourne Pain. Okay. Yeah, I'm just playing my Queen's Commission. This guy is tanking really a lot. For a very simple world state, so under this, um, looks like he's gonna. He will. Yep. Turn, we're gonna call to the feast. It's blue light. Stopping for something. Baffling end. Looks like a baffling end. So, baffling end, my martyr. He's holding up essence scatter still. I'm gonna put him on Essence Scatter instead of Sensor. 
he could have sensor, but I haven't seen. I think people are like going down on sensor, so I don't think it's. I think it's pretty reasonable to put him on as a scatter. At least I think it's more likely than sensor. He could be he could prove me wrong here and just have both, but um okay, so he didn't censor it, so he probably has essence scatter. So next turn I'm just gonna gem Hybrid Rain, regardless if he has essence scatter or not. Hieroglyphic cycle. Looking for the second white source probably for that saddle. Desert's hold. Okay. That makes my brain less good. But we need like an anthem effect, I think, at this point. I don't think he has another grappling end because I think he would have probably used grappling end. Okay, he has a. He's still looking for a second white source. He's gonna attack. He might bounce my guy. That would be the most likely play. I could have actually done this before combat to see if I would have drawn a anthem effect, but he might counter this anyway. You know? Okay, so I did draw an anthem effect. Cool. I wouldn't have been able to cast it anyway, so that was fine. If he plays a second white source, I'm gonna sneak in a Vanquisher, see if he will counter it. If he counters it, then... Okay, so he was thinking of Essence Scatter. So, second white source, gonna draw the Vanquisher. He doesn't counter it, then I'm just gonna attack with Dusty Develop and like a token. Well, I'm gonna make him counter this. Because I can play through Supreme Will. If he counters it, okay, he doesn't counter it. So he could have a cast out. Sensor. Okay, so he did have Sensor. Could have cast out, but with, even with cast out, I kill him. Yeah, that might have been not terrible. Not a mount to pick. At first, I thought this card would have been like really, really good in Dino, but I haven't actually done to draw a single card off of this card, so it's actually. Not that amazing. And that's probably why no one's playing it in standard. Sounds good. We have pretty decent curve. Uh, we don't necessarily want to curve, but we could. We're probably gonna turn to Kaplan, turn to Maverick Pain, because I think we would just want to set up the Maverick Pain. Uh, of course, 
If we play against a red deck, that might change. Alright, Brad. So, if we play Legion Lutena, he'll respond by killing our guy. So I'm gonna attack first. We take we we get in one less damage this way, but I might be overthinking this and he might not even think our guy in response, but at least we don't give him the option of doing it before we get in the damage. Of course, he could still have Magma Spray, but if he has Magma Spray, then it doesn't matter. He's really thinking about whether to kill it or not. <laughs> okay, so he ended up choosing to kill him, so our line is a lot better. We got in our 2 damage, and then he spent the thing killing him. So this is probably getting Lightning Struck because the card is really good. <laughs> uh, we get Mavern Fane here, but it'll delay our call to the Feast. But Mavern Fane is another card that he has to answer or lose to, so I think the upside is high enough when we can delay our call to the Feast. And he blew a Lightning Strike there instead of Magma Spray, which means... Uh, He's not likely to have a... Uh... Okay, so this is looking like a 2-2 a first strike guy. So as long as he only plays one 2-2 two -two first strike guy, we are okay. No 2-2 two -two first strike guy. In that case, he could still have. Okay, in this case, we're actually going to Legion Lieutenant first. He could choose to kill our Legion Lieutenant instead, but I'm okay because I think my friend Brain is actually better in this matchup. He could Firebrand. That's actually really good too. Spell on the damage. I'm gonna hold back the Legion Lieutenant because I kinda don't want it to die to Magma Spray. But I guess he could have still Magma Sprayed it. He could have Magma Sprayed in response to the thing, so I guess there was no reason not to hold back, not think about it. I think that was just misplay on my part. He breaks here. Brute Strength. That I wasn't expecting. Okay, so that's what he was trying to get me to play into. Okay. Need play. So you did have that guy. Yeesh. So. He did not have Magma Spray because he would have Magma Spray in response to the Radiant Destiny last turn. So I'm gonna put him on not having Magma Spray. Of course, he could have drawn it, but. Let's see if I'm proven wrong. Okay, so he, he, he did draw it. Ah, another blue strike. I guess if he played after he played the first one, I should have expected the second one. So that was just a misplay on my part. Oops. I ran.
kind of dusk. Don't really see a reason to uh, baffling end either of the creature. If he has another, like, then I'm okay. So he's gonna first strike damage and then ping. So if I didn't make a misplay, I would have actually killed him that turn. So, oh well, it is what it is. I guess if I had Buffling Ann, I would have actually killed him also. Azareth is fine, you can't actually block. Okay, so two misplays in that game, uh, not Buffling Ann, and also attacking with my Legion Determined. Well, those games are not too terrible. Um, I think we are going to get... I think I'm gonna get Exxon back because I, the card I kinda want the most right now is a Legion Funding. Shade Light, it's a pretty good card, makes the third copy. And... Landry Storm. I guess it's playable in red decks. Don't like playing red though. Well, that's all for today.